What's up guys, so in this video I'll be showing off some of the new features that are available in the iPad 4.2 software update. Now this isn't the official release just yet, this is still the beta. Apple released the beta to developers in their dev center this afternoon, um, but this will be available for everyone in November. So first off, one of the biggest things coming to the iPad is multitasking. It's been a feature for the iPhone and iPod Touch for a few months now, but it is finally coming to the iPad. And you guys know, all you have to do to multitask is double-click on the Home button, and it brings up that scrolling multitasking bar, and uh, just shows you what applications are currently running in the background. Second big thing is the home screen now supports folders. So for those of you who have a lot of icons, on your home screen and want to sort of organize them you now have the option to put them in folders and uh, again a lot more organized and this does allow for you to have a lot more applications installed on your iPad also the game center is now supported on the iPad just like the iPhone and iPod touch you can add friends challenge them to games and post all your stats so that's pretty cool um, you no longer don't have to have an iPhone or iPod touch those of you with the iPad who felt kind of left out that you didn't have Game Center will now have that come this November. A couple other things I just want to mention. Wireless printing, Steve Jobs mentioned it in the keynotes. It's coming to the iPad. We've all wanted printing on our iPads for a while, especially those of you who use Keynote and uh, Pages and all that stuff and you type up a lot. Um, you can now print on your iPad wirelessly if you have a wireless printer at home. Also, AirPlay. I know a lot of companies are starting to jump on board with this. AirPlay is basically allows you to stream different media, whether it be music or movies, to different devices around your house. I know iHome is creating a new device that will enable AirPlay and all that good stuff, so look forward to that. A couple small features that I just want to touch on. Mail now has that sort of threaded inbox, so you can manage your accounts a little bit better, or if you have more than one account and want to view all your email, as one big long inbox you can now do that and uh, for those of you wondering it wasn't mentioned in the keynotes it's just sort of a small little thing that they changed this switch on the side here that was originally supposed to be the orientation lock is now as you can see the sound toggle so you can turn the sound on and off you guys know that the multitasking bar has the orientation lock for the iPhone and iPod Touch, but it now has it for the iPad as well. So again, the switch is now just for the sound. So you go, just a quick little overview of the iPad 4.2 software update. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of features that I haven't mentioned. I may put them in a future video, but if I didn't mention anything, post it down in a comment and talk about it. Um, let, me, let me know what you think. What do you think about this new iPad 4.2 software update? Are you excited? Do you not really care? I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are jailbreakers, uh, myself included, and we've had a lot of this stuff on our iPad since the jailbreaking came out back on um, 3.2, you know, multitasking and, and all that stuff. So, you know, it's good that it's finally being added to the software itself, uh, but again, a lot of us have had it for a while already. So here you go. Again, just a quick little overview of the software. If you have any questions or uh, think I missed anything, post it in the comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.